Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Daniel Klein. I am the founder CEO of Joseph Studios. We do advanced organic marketing We're based here in Atlanta, Georgia. Today we're talking about a cool concept, how to market your tech company uh, to grow your business. So when I say tech company, it could be a SaaS or a software as a service. It could be a PaaS platform as a service. It could be a business services company, something to do with technology. It doesn't even have to be in the IT space. It could be in healthcare, FinTech, financial services, um, could be in pharmaceuticals, could be in logistics. Um, you could have a technology that helps CBD companies or uh, helps contractors build better houses. doesn't matter. But uh, we're focusing on marketing strategies for these tech companies, how it matters, how to do a good job at it, what are some of the key fundamentals to play with from a marketing perspective so that these type of businesses do well. So first and foremost, kicking it off uh, is build a really good strategy. So everything kind of builds off of strategy. You have very high level corporate goals and you can, you can be aspirational if you like. You can say things like, I wanna grow. Cool, okay, so let's go off of that as an example. I wanna grow. By how much? I wanna grow by 100%. Even better, by when? In a year. Okay, cool. So from that point, we start to develop what are called SMART goals, which are measurable and attainable and realistic and time-bound goals that you can use so that you reach your aspirational goals, right? So I want to grow isn't a goal that's good because you can't really measure growth. Uh, I want to grow. You can't really measure that. But you can measure things like uh, throughput yield for your website. You can measure how many people go from your uh, LinkedIn to your website. How many people go from your website to your contact form? How many people go from your contact form to a discovery call? And how many people from the discovery call either self onboard or uh, are onboarded by a specialist or you book a engagement with? And so those are the types of things that you can measure and they all lead up to your aspirational goals. So when you think of strategy, think of ways to implement your aspirational goals in very small task oriented bite-sized bits, right? You don't want to eat the whole elephant. You want to break the elephant up into manageable chunks. And then you want to divide that up into things that you can do throughout the day, week, month, whatever, to then add up to an elephant being eaten. <sighs> Pete is going to be all over me. Um, next up, I want your marketing strategy to be mature. So with maturity comes control. Um, think governance, think the ability to manage things over time in a systematic way. That's what I think of when I think of a mature strategy. So whether again, from the marketing aspect, from sales, from operations, you have processes that you go through and you expect results out of those processes. If you have a lawn care maintenance company, I want to know how many times the lawn care maintenance person doesn't have uh, a breakdown or arrives to a job site on time or there aren't any customer complaints. Those are the types of things that I want to monitor over time and I want to exert control over those things. From the marketing and growth perspective, it's things like how many how many free users turn into premium users? Uh, what's the lifetime value of a customer? Um, what's my attrition rate for customers or my turnover rate for customers? Um, what's my monthly reoccurring revenue look like month over month? And how does that grow? And what factors fit into each of those, what we call key performance indicators, so that, so that we're systematically growing? And it's not so much that you keep track of all this stuff. That's, that's kind of on the side. When I say the goal here, the tip is to have a mature strategy. It's that you should exert control over the things that you measure. So if you just measure how many times you show up late and that's the only thing you measure, um, exerting control over that outcome is a form of maturity within your process. Um, so that's, that's the next tip. Um, all right. So qualifying for an investment when people, come on to your team and they want to help finance your idea or your product or whatever, it's important to be able to communicate that shared goal and control with them. So if tip one was you need to have a strategy and tip two was you need to have a mature strategy. And by that, I mean, you need to be able to exert control over your strategy. So it's systematically implemented. The next tip, the next level is when you bring others onto the team, being able to communicate that shared goal, that shared aspiration, and that shared control with them. No one's gonna invest in your company, or no one should invest in your company, if they don't have a sense that you are in control of it, and that it's a machine that when you put something in, something else comes out, in a systematic and relatively defect-free way. So, say all that to say this. Um, 
the next step will be for any tech company, some level of venture capital VC or some level of funding. And it comes from systematically meeting your goals over time and having a way to showcase to those investors that by giving you money, they will make money. Just like as customers come on board, it grows, the platform grows, you grow. So that's the next step. When you bring on investment, you need to be able to not only exert control and show that control, but communicate it to others. All right. Um, so how we can help, not so much a hook, but how we can help are the things that we just mentioned. So the strategy, maturing your strategy, preparing for VC. These are the types of things that we can help you with. So if you're looking for uh, venture capital, if you're looking for angel funding, series A, series B, those are good opportunities to bring on an expert agency who can help you from the marketing perspective, exert control over your marketing, your PR, your brand, uh, in a way that is very attractive to an investor or an investment group. Uh, definitely something to consider outsourcing when you're making that initial step. Although internal resources are fine and dandy, you're likely at a stage when you're in seed or series A, maybe even B, where you might have a marketing generalist, you might have a CMO, you might have a sales director, and they understand a good chunk of marketing, but they're not experts. Whereas by bringing on an agency, you have someone who has dedicated or you have a team that have dedicated their entire careers to specializing in niches like SEO, social media, branding. Um, and our perspective on the agency side is such that we direct them towards career growth and career progression for their sub sub discipline. If you have a generalist on board, they're not going to have the expertise for each discipline. Uh, they're going to struggle when it comes to being able to communicate and affect these different campaigns that you're doing. Um, and then growing that is very, very, very expensive and difficult. Whereas just by bringing on an agency, boom, it's plug and play. You bring on an agency, next thing you know, you have a full-scale marketing department at a fraction of the cost. Um, most of the time, bringing on an agency would cost between like $3,500 and $7,500 a month, which is equivalent to uh, a full-time person right out, right out of uh, college or uh, maybe a director-level person with five to 10 years of experience on the top end. But by bringing on an agency, you get between like five to seven full-time dedicated experts who have done it for the last 10 years. So there's definitely some cost savings there. Um, so all that to say, it's a wonderful journey being a part of a tech company, especially this day and age. When it comes to the capabilities that technology is affording folks, uh, when it comes to the quality of life that technology is providing us all, we have not lived better ever as a species than we do today. And that's as a result in a very large part from technology. The future is extremely bright uh, from a pharmaceutical perspective, um, nanotechnology, uh, bioengineering, cures for disease, using your own immune system to help cure cancer. Um, from the fintech perspective, being able to trade money back and forth in a blink of an eye uh, without fees, without any kind of commissions. Those are, those are crazy things that in the past just weren't possible. And as a result of technology, they totally are. Um, so you're in an exciting world. Uh, it's absolutely going to grow, and it's just a matter of bringing on the right team. Um, if you have any questions about anything that we talked about here today, know that I am available, the rest of the team is available, and all you have to do to engage us is just put a comment down below. Uh, there's another path to get some level of engagement from us, and that's going to josephstudios.net forward slash community. And there we have an open, brand new spanking forum, and post your question in there, join the forum, and we're more than happy to hand answer any questions that you have. Also, if you go to info at josephstudios.net, send us a quick note. We'd be more than happy to answer anything specific or possibly private that, that you want answered for you. Um, we're always available, always here to help. But other than that, I hope you have a great day. I hope you absolutely crush it. Everyone tells you yes, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, guys.